everyone welcome back to yoga by stephanie mia today we have a great practice focusing on nice hip release stress release i'm hoping you guys are ready to work get started it won't be too bad i promise but let's just get in the frame of mind of doing some yoga today yes so when you're ready hop onto your mat we're gonna get started <laughs> Okay guys, we're going to start hip width apart at the back of our mat, bend those knees, arms come up, belly in, bottom under, stretch, come onto your tippy toes, lower, hinge at the hips, come all the way down, nice, grab the ankles if you can, or they can be on the mat or the fingertips, same bene benefit, have a micro bend in your legs, nice drop the head inhale exhale roll back up four three two one bend belly in bottom under arms come up exhale stretch come onto your tippy toes inhale release exhale fold all the way down back into forward fold drop the head nice from here let's just walk bend the knees as we walk the arms out into our first downward facing dog of the practice nice bend the knees straighten bend and straighten come up to plank let's get one chaturanga in lift up into upward facing dog still on your toes bend the knees and come back into your downward facing dog nice from here let's lift the right leg up into three-legged dog and we take it to the side as far as you can go and then back up to the side and back up from here bend that same leg squeeze through the chest as you come to drop it at the top of your mat, lower the back leg, uncurl the toes, and we stay here in our low lunge. Really getting comfortable in this position, maybe rocking side to side. Seeing what feels nice here. Nice. When you're ready, you can bring that right hand inside that right leg and shimmy that right leg to off the mat. Sink further into your low lunge here, really pressing through your hips, opening up through that right leg. Nice. Breathe in, and as you exhale, you sink out to lower. Breathe in, exhale, you sink out to lower. Nice. Bring your right hand to your right knee, gently press away from your body push your hips even further and just enjoy the stretch enjoy the sensations inhale exhale squeezing the glutes protecting your hips bring that leg back in bring that arm up and over as you reach towards your back leg bring in our heel as close to your left glute as possible and then we sink out to lower once again this is an amazing stretch through your quads and hip flexors. My quads are feeling extremely tight right now. So this today is my best today. And that's really okay. Treat your body with care and gentleness always. Release everything. Bring the palms back to the top of your mat. Send that right leg back. Come to tabletop. Drop the belly, exhale, inhale, drop the belly, exhale, curve through the spine. So from tabletop, we're going to curl the toes under and send the hips up and back, back into our downward facing dog. And we're going to reset from here. Breathe in, exhale, push your chest towards the top of your thighs. 
nice stretch, stretch in the hamstrings. Inhale, exhale, sink a little deeper. Nice. From here, ground yourself as you peel that left leg up. Send it into a three-leg dog and open up to the side. And back. You might feel as a shake to the side. And back. Good job. That same knee. You can squeeze towards your chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And drop to the top of your mat. Once your hair lower onto your low lunge, bring that palm in. And really get comfortable here. Shimmy that leg out to the side just a bit for now. And sink the hips lower. Breathing deeply here. Slow, steady breaths in and out. And in and out and in and out. When you're ready, shimmy that leg even further off your mat. Sink your hips lower. Nice. Breathe here. Four. Three. Move side to side if that feels great. Two. And one. You're going to peel up with that right leg. Bring the arm up and over as you stretch, trying to pull that heel towards your glutes. Squeeze here. One side is different from the other side. Perfectly normal. Squeeze. Send the hips even lower. Squeeze. Three, two, and release everything. One. Good job. Come back to that low lunge and then take your time to send that knee back onto the mat. Knees together. Come into child's pose. Take a nice quick rest here. Quick, quick rest. Hug your heels. Nice. Good job. Come here, let's peel back up. And this time we're going to lift our heels all the way up as we walk them closer to our arms. Right? What we're going to do, we're going to bring our toes to the edge of the mat. Now, what we're going to do is what we call a garland squat in yoga. And the lower you go, it depends on how open your hips are. But fret not, we're going to see the different modifications so no one is left behind. Everybody has their practice today, right? So, when you are here, you can bring your fingertips to the floor, or the mat, sorry. And then you're going to lower to see how far you are. So maybe your limit is here. That's okay. Just push the knees towards the side. Let me demonstrate this way. So imagine that my feet are still as well as my yoga mats, right? Now judge the distance here, taking it here. Perfect. So my fingertips are on the mat and I'm really sending my hips down. Maybe I'm here. If I'm working here, I can just extend, use that internal and external rotation, that hip adductor muscle to pulse here, opening up through my hips working here if you can go a little bit lower we may be onto our heels rocking side to side enjoying that hip release yes and if you want to get a step further you can plant both heels sink the bottom towards the mat really squeezing through the glutes and you can press your elbows on your legs pushing them away from you Right, you can be here in a nice prayer pose, or if you want even more friction or resistance, you can pull them, put your hands by your sides on your mat, and really working against yourself. So your elbows are pushing back while your knees are pushing forward. Engaging the glutes, you may feel a shake here. I'm visibly shaking. Squeeze here. Never be under the pressure that I'm not working in these videos as well, trust me. I'm going to hold it for 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, good job, 1. Take your time to come 
to sit wide leg onto your mat. And here we're just going to forward fold, lowering the belly all the way to the mat. Good job. Take a moment here, breathe in and out and in and out. Flex the feet, bring your belly even further toward the mat. Good job. Come onto your forearms if this is your resting stop. If not, go even further and get that belly to the floor and you're here and breathing. Three, two, and one. Good job. Nice. Come back to a cross leg position. Nice. We're going to do some seats to cat cows. Exhale and inhale. And exhale and inhale. Good job. Great job. This is our quick, quick hip release for today. Thank you so much for joining me in practice. It's always a pleasure to be your guide in your at-home yoga practice. See you next time. Namaste. Thank you.